How you guys doing today? So in today's video, I got an awesome review for you guys for the Steam Deck. This is an item that I've been looking at for a long time. So it's pretty neat when you perfect reached out and said that they were going to send me a review copy to review. And this is the Uperfect X Pro Lab Dock 15.6 4K. But this is not the 4K model. They sent me the 1080p display one to review. But this device can do it all. This device helps you be really productive on the Steam Deck with a bigger screen this device makes gaming the steam deck more immersive playing triple a games like cyberpunk 2077 or running emulator on this device or even cloud gaming this definitely makes gaming on the steam deck more immersive but then also if you want to be productive if you want to use console on the desktop more than steam deck or if you want to use windows on this device this device lets you really be productive on the steam deck last but not least multimedia watching movies on your steam deck with a 15.6 inch 1080 p display this is a beauty so with all that being said let's get into the review of this so something you notice off the bat is that this is a pretty big device but not only that it's a very premium device this is a metal build reminding me of the microsoft surface pro like you've seen in this video comes with an attachable keyboard that lets you be productive but the difference between this and the original laptop is that the keyboard actually detaches from the screen so if you just want to use the screen it has a key kickstand where you can just plop it up and use the screen but if you want to be productive or do work or browse the internet with the steam deck you can just attach the keyboard this is a great two in one device to play and also to get work done so when it comes to the display it's a srgb ips hdr screen it's a 15.6 inch screen it's a 60 hertz screen it does white view of 178 degrees this device also has a detachable magnetic keyboard and multiple connections has usb and mini hdmi to ensure wide range in use whether you want to sit it up and be productive or use it also as a second screen this also has a built-in 10,000 mah battery on the go and you perfect says you get up to eight hours of quality video playback and for the six hours if you're using it to be productive honestly speaking i can say the battery life on this device especially when i have my steam deck plugged into it it's not the greatest so that's the design and some of the specs of this device now let's talk about how this actually works when it comes to gaming so if you're playing a game on the steam deck and you just plug in your usb-c port on one of the usb-c port on this device i have to say it looks pretty good when you're gaming the standard resolution is 720p if you leave it at that the steam deck does a good job projecting that 720p on this display so you'll see in this video with cyberpunk the gameplay actually looks pretty good and the good thing about this is that it maintains the same fps like you would get if you're playing on the steam deck so i would say if you're looking for the best fps on this device with the steam deck just leave everything the way it is just attach your steam deck and let the steam deck project that 720p in this display it looks good you get your fps but if you want a better experience you might get less fps but you are getting 1080p let's go to the settings and mess around with the resolution as you can see here in cyberpunk when i switched it to 1080p the graphics definitely looks better but you do get a drop in frame rate i was able to get 27 28 to 30 fps here which is not bad again it's up to you to decide and don't forget this is cyberpunk we're talking about one of the most graphically intense game here so to see this run at 30 fps at 1080p it's not too bad so next let's talk about emulation and this device crushes it so something you've seen here is me running cmu on the steam deck and you see mario kart this runs really smooth something i think this device is great at is if you have multiple controllers and multiple people wanting to play with you again plop this up get two controllers and game on this and i feel like that's where emulation comes in clutch playing mario kart and this device looks beautiful and runs great and i would highly recommend using this device to emulate so when it comes to gaming i think where this device shine is with cloud gaming and again with cloud gaming you not depend on the steam deck for the gpu it's all in the cloud right as you see in this video using geforce now to play a game like destiny 2 i have the graphical setting mostly maxed out and you see here 1080p this is gorgeous running at 60 fps 
hardly any latency would highly recommend this device if you guys want to cloud game for sure so one of the reasons i was looking forward to this device is to be productive and running desktop mode on the steam deck is something that everyone with this device should try it's a treat especially if you're using console you know me and this channel i do a lot of videos that requires me to type in stuff in the console so with this device i can do that easily but then something else that stands out is browsing the internet here or using multimedia so if you have videos stored in the steam deck that you want to watch again if it's 1080p it projects it to this but if you want to browse the internet use stuff like youtube this is an awesome device to use for multimedia. So let's switch over to Windows. Again, I have dual boot here and I have to say this does work with dual boot, but I'll recommend in the beginning when the Steam Deck is booting up to unplug it because if you have this plugged in and dual boot into Windows, it messes up the resolution and you have to in a way reinstall Windows. So again, disclaimer, if you trying to dual boot using Windows, make sure that's unplugged when this is starting up. But as you've seen here, just like desktop mode, Windows on this device runs really smooth. It detects the keyboard and the trackpad. So again, you can be productive here if you have documents that you want to write, if you want to browse the internet, if you want to use multimedia, all that stuff works just like it does with this Steam Deck desktop mode. So I know I've said a lot of great things about this device, but I do want to talk about some of the things that I dislike about this device. And the biggest one has to be the way that the keyboard attaches to this. I have a Surface Pro here and you guys have seen me attach the keyboard here. It's very seamless, but something you experience with this device is not as seamless. You have to actually fight with this keyboard attaching it to the monitor. It can get annoying. I still haven't found a great way to do this, but that's something to take into consideration attaching the keyboard is not as seamless as you'll find in something like the surface pro and then my other gripe with this is that this is a big device but it's also really heavy so traveling with this device can be a headache because it's big but not only that it's also heavy and last but not least my biggest gripe with this is the price point now you perfect has a sale on this device to where it's 360 dollars but the original this device is 500 dollars and man at the price of a Steam Deck to this device, you're talking about close to $1,000. At that point, you have to ask the question, if you really want to be productive, should you just consider at that point getting a gaming laptop? Because at the price point that this and the Steam Deck adds up, it's getting close to gaming laptop territory. So that's pretty much all I have to say for this device. I think it runs great with the Steam Deck. And again, it's a good way for you to be productive. To me, the thing that stood out for me is multimedia and also cloud gaming. Being productive is something that you can definitely use this device for. So let me know in the comments below all you guys think about getting this device. You guys already own this device. How has the experience been? Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Till next time. Peace out.